Hello, everybody. I am Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is why I'm watching RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16, Episode 3, The Mother of All Balls. Woohoo! Ugh. Finally. It's been a journey to get here. It has been a real journey to get here. <laughs> like, just the last 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're coming in hot. <laughs> we're a little bit late. We did watch and react to yes. the first two episodes. That should be on the Patreon. If it's not there now, it will be there within 24 hours. Yeah. Um, we didn't do episodes because that just wasn't necessary or in the cards. And we're going to just go from here. I don't. I like. OK, so my reasoning behind I that. I actually had plenty to say. But well, okay, <laughs> I would have had plenty to say, too. But my reasoning for that is that like often for the last few seasons when they've broken it up like this, I haven't had a lot to say. And also, I cannot keep the queens all straight. This I don't early. know. OK, so I don't know. This is a brilliant place to start. Actually, I'm thrilled. I don't know if it's me or if it's us personal or if it's the show or whatever. But the last season or two. There was there was something fetch was not happening for me. Sure, and they were there were very talented queens, mm -hmm. and there was plenty of things that I did like, but something about it didn't feel what what I wanted or what I thought. Like, sure, uh, I think we were, well last season was a fucking mess. We've discussed that. It, yeah, I didn't. Even... And then it's like the I think the season before that was still like COVID. Well, like, but also so stuff. We are relatively new. To drag race. We're not anymore. I, well, and so that's what I thought was maybe was happening was I thought, well, maybe the novelty had worn off. Mm. And maybe because there's a lot of like we loved season 11. Yeah. And I also think it's like seasons of SNL where at any given moment people are like, it's bad now. It used to be good. And now it's yeah. bad. And then give it five years and people will be like, it was good five years ago. And I'm yeah. like, that's not what you were saying. That's not what you said at the time. Yeah. And so th th there was just. I don't know. There was just something about it. And, and, and the other thing that I find interesting, and it's one of the reasons why I have continued doing our coverage, is I do think that we do have an interesting perspective because we are not experts. Yeah. Um, and we're also at least I am very stupid. I'm stupid <laughs> and ugly. And so <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to tell me I, I'm aware uh, and I have to be here. You don't, so you can move on. Yeah. Um, also, art is objective or subjective. subjective. Just <laughs> you, you can have C your opinion. C CJ the X actually has a video about that where he's like, there are places where art is objective, uh, sure. though. <laughs> sure. um, yes, like objectively, <laughs> the Nymphia dress <laughs> is the best dress. But I, I think that we I think I have an, a, certainly an interesting perspective because we didn't start from the beginning. So there are people who's, who who watch this chronologically. Yeah, but I've seen over half of. I have, too. Yeah. But I'm also doing it all on whims and vibes. Yeah. So it's like I just sort of watch things whenever I get a wild hair. Mm -hmm. So there's times where it's like I was fully and we, we, we say this. It's a good you know starting point because it was our entry point. But it's like we fully knew who Trixie and Katya were yeah. before we were even watching Drag Race. Yeah. And so it's like when we watched their season, it was, we had a different perspective on it. Sure. And like, I'm currently watching season three right now. And that's the season Raja is in, but I've watched her on a uh, fashion photo review. And I watched her on all stars seven, where she did, in my opinion, an impeccable, so good. impeccable performance. And there's something really interesting and fun going back to 2011 and watching her in a place where she hasn't earned it yet yeah. or hasn't proved it hasn't hasn't proven it yet i think that i think when we consume media and especially when we're doing it actively in the moment I think we put a lot of focus on the here and now. Mm -hmm. I, I swear to God, this is not going to be a tangent, but it's been like a month since we've actually yeah. been in the same room <laughs> and talked about stuff. But it's it's a little bit like the Aquaman 2 Mira conundrum. Oh, sure. Where we made decisions about that movie based on tabloid headlines as if that movie isn't meant to just exist. Sure. And so it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's sort of like, if I were a child watching those movies... I would. Be I would have questions. I would be yeah. confused, and I'd be like, "Why? Why is this radically different?" Yeah. Uh, and so, 
I, I think that when there's seasons of television or movies or, you know, works of art, sometimes the same work of art can have a much different feeling when you look at it a different way yeah. or through time. And so all of that is to say that I don't know what it is. And I'd be curious to find out after the NDAs expire if there is like a secret ingredient somewhere. But this season has felt different to me from the beginning. I agree. It, there's like a an irreverence, I guess. I is what my suspicion is. I think that production, I think it's what's in the air just in general in so society and politics, I think production has figured out that they need the queens. Well, uh, and I, but I think they for, shouldn't have lost sight of that. I, well, I think uh, you fall into patterns and I think they took them for granted and were p manipulating them and pulling the strings. Mm. And I think that these queens were selected sp specifically. And I would even posit a theory that some of them might have might be aware of the machinations. Oh, sure. Like we're, we'll get to it and we'll talk about plain Jane, but I feel like she had a conversation with a producer where they agreed she's the villain. Okay. I see. And so I wouldn't, I mean, I'm, I don't know that I'm like fully convinced, but I could see that I could see this. That, well, that's why that. I said it, it's yeah. like a working theory where I, I think versus trying to like, trick the queens into doing what they want. They've realized that they need them and that they, it, 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 very Thor, the dark world, you must be really desperate to come to me sure. for help. Yeah. And so I think that, that because uh, something cannot, a show reality or not, cannot run for 16 years and not evolve. Right. And not need to be, updated or facelift or all that. And so I think something that might have worked a couple years ago stopped working. And the other issue is that because in season 3 it it's a it's a, a more proper reality TV show from the 2000s. Okay. They're not as it it there's a thing going on right now where everyone's real mean on the internet or <laughs> I mean that's true. <laughs> Everyone's real mean in real life and real nice on TV. And um, I want it the other way around. Sure. It's like everyone, these people grew up with the show and also mm -hmm. have seen what opportunities it offers yeah. and the doors it opens. And there's a lot of self-producing. I mean, Amanda Tori was self-producing her in all three of these episodes. Yeah. She was telling them when to put in sound effects and call you like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think some people... All people, we're all in this together. The audience, the talent, production. I think we all a little bit forgot what we wanted from each other and what mm. we wanted from this arrangement. And I think versus manipulating, like, because th there's, there's this whole thing about, you know, the delusional queen edit and the shady edit and all that. Like, I, I don't want to give production too much credit, but I, I, I feel like they're being more forthcoming. Sure. That makes and sense. or, and that could probably be where some of these, like the immunity twist and the Queens rating each other twist comes in Yeah, because we, we were getting to a place where production was, was bending over backwards to reverse engineer these yeah, things which and you, the seams were showing. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's sort of my broad kind of what I think is happening. Um, sort of pulling this in because we'll have what I presume to be many weeks to discuss yeah. this. Do you have any general thoughts or opinions going in? Um, well, it looks like I have like five that I'm the most into. What are you looking at? I just made a list. Oh, I just, typed, <laughs> I just typed myself a list. Um, in no particular order, just the way that I wrote them down. Um, obviously if you've watched our coverage before, you know that I love plasma, the like, old fashioned kind of Broadway drag. I love that. The like opening look she came in in. Oh, South Park. That South Park? I was like, <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it's like, I, I like her. I like Q. I am interested to keep watching Plain Jane. No, I can't say I like her yet. And then Nymphia and Sephira. Those are my like five right now. That's Sephira. Okay. Yeah. 
Safira. Uh, it's the talent on Safira for me, like the the opera singing for sure, and then the way she's dressed herself the whole time is really good. Okay, uh, since we're throwing a lot on this, and also the ball, I. Th- feel like is always such like a I can't believe I feel like they did it last season too where like why are you doing the ball when there's like so many queens so is what I'm gonna do for brevity and organization is I'm literally on the MTV website RuPaul's Drag Race and I'm gonna go down the line okay Um, but before I get that I do want to say that uh I much like you I have sort of like when I approach these things I have like a good five Mm -hmm. And so if I say that, like, such and such is my favorite, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, that doesn't mean that I think they're going to win. Sure. Or that I think they're the best, like who I think is going to win, who I think is the best, who I like the most, who I think is the cutest, who I think the most talented. Those are different people. But it's also like this also (laughs) isn't to the exclusion of any of the other. No, no, no. It's just like this. These were my first impressions watching these three episodes rapid fire. But I I have a little bit of a type. I have a knee jerk type where I'm like, that's the one that I like. Well, that's my plain Jane. Mm-hmm. That's my knee or not plain Jane. The I plas- was about sorry, to say <laughs> plasma is my knee jerk type. Cause like season 11, it was Scarlet Envy or Joey J or, you know, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And for me, that one was Mirage. And I, I can't specifically tell you why, but I did watch the meet the Queens and there was something about her. She, I said in our watch along, if you want to watch along with us, you can head on over to the Patreon at patreon.com slash so I'm watching the show and join the $3 tier and you can watch the live episodes and myriad other content. Mm-hmm. Um, she has big allure, adore Delano. That you did say energy. That, and I don't disagree. And there's just sort of, I, I like the character that Mirage sort of presents. I I found the heel clacking to be yeah. delightful <sighs> in its sort of laziness. Or well, it also, wasn't even lazy, but it was no, just... No, but it, it's sort of the same thing where it also, like, when Michelle was like, we love stupid. <laughs> she just, like... To plain Jane. It, lazy's not the word I want to use. It, it was in a sort of, like... Like she's above it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was fun. So, anyways, she was the first one that I was like, okay, I like that. I took note of a mandatory meeting immediately. Well, that for is starters, that's a legendary a name. A spectacular name. Um I I don't think that all names have to be a pun. No. I do like puns. My least favorite is there's always a genre or there's like a subcategory of queens where it's just sort of like drag word salad mm. and i just i i have a hard time remembering those people yep. and so it's something like plasma is so weird and i don't think it really suits her all that much it's this like diabetic thing i don't think it suits her <laughs> either but it's it's helpful it helps me remember it. i know she yeah. is where there's like, and I, I don't mean this in a shady way, um, because we are not in the business of bullying drag queens and neither should you be, but there's a handful of them like, I, I don't know who you are. I yeah. don't know which one that is. Mm-hmm. Like, but uh Amanda, and I'm I I am properly starting with her because she is the first of the cast list, but I hated her in the Meet the Queens. Okay. She was I mean, she was running laps, just circles. And I was like, Whew, this is way too much. And then getting, I think I was maybe 15, 20 minutes into the first episode. And I was like, oh, I might love her. She has, She's a lot. She's a lot. I, I, I was, I said to you off screen, I was like, I need her to pull it back about 25% and take that 25% and use that in honing. Sure. Yeah. Because her makeup is not, <laughs> not very good. And I even when when they were getting out of drag, I was like, it's giving honey bunny from pulp fiction. <laughs> I'm like, Sorry. But she seems she's she seems enthusiastic, yeah. which is a quality that I appreciate. She seems, you know, positive and open. She is there's a lot of potential. Yeah. And I sort of, I don't remember how old she is, but there, I love, I love potential in people and I love nurturing potential in people and being yeah. like that thing, do more of that. Mm-hmm. Um, and as they, cause they read her for filth. I, I told you in, um, untucked, untucked. So, is it Safira? Safiri? 
Safira, like Safira. a sapphire yeah. with an A. Safira. And Safira was being very, it was very mother hen. And she was like, you are so much better than your drag. Yeah. And Amanda was just kind of like, mm, thanks. And she was like, no, I hear, I hear the compliment in that. But, and Q like fell out of her chair. <laughs> and, and that's another thing that I'm really liking about this season in these first three episodes is we're getting the banter. We're getting the roasting. We're yeah. getting the reading. It doesn't but feel pointed, super pointed. The feeling of good fun is there. And even, and we'll get to plain Jane, but even when someone comes in with that sort of energy, yeah. the other queens are very cognizant sure. of the reality of the situation in a way that thinks that, that, that helps. Yeah. So that's my take on a mandatory meeting. I had I I kind of figured that you would really take to plasma. Yeah, and actually, I have I have some very similar critique with plasma that I do with a mandatory meeting, where I think she is very talented, mm -hmm. very talented. Yeah, very young also, and those things th that for me, she's giving the most Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Because it's like, yes, you're very talented, okay. but also it's like you're a little tryhard. You're very Broadway. It like, you know, you're good, but like, ease up. I, I have that sort of. It's it's you want the cookie, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to give you the cookie, and you're going to get more cookies. But I need you to. Mm -hmm. like a, <laughs> I need you to do this. No, but it's like a <laughs> like a hyper chihuahua that's like cookie, 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 and you're like, you've had cookies, like you are good on cookies. Uh. And so it, it – because I, I, I think they said it in the thing, but her talent when she was doing the tea for two, mm -hmm. it's like – It was too she, many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You were doing all the things and – And believe me, yeah. I get that instinct. Of course, yeah. I get it. It's taken me a long time mm -hmm. to learn to – to Hone. Yeah. yeah. And I'm – the jury's still out. Pair down. <laughs> so I skipped and went right to Plasma no, even though Dawn was next. I like Dawn. Dawn was was the other one that I thought you would yeah. like. Uh, I like the like forest animal, like cryptid kind of makeup she's got going. She's got a Utica slash uh, Willow Pill yeah. thing, and more to the Willow Pill end. Sure, yeah. and uh, she's a little bit better adjusted well, than <laughs> than Utica. Yeah. She doesn't scream homeschool. <laughs> Homeschooled in upstate New York, but that's where Don is. That's where Don is. I, I'm living for her. Is the the sort of like the, the quiet one liners or yeah. the 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 confessionals, yeah, and then just like general like weirdness. I'm into it, and because there's a handful of them, and again, we'll get to plain Jane. But there's a point in this episode where she or the previous episode where she said she was going to keep her cards close to the vest, bitch. <laughs> Your cards are on the table. Is the vest in the room with us? F F yeah, right. <laughs> because you know who's keeping their cards close to the vest is Dawn. That's <laughs> and, and again, she did that as a look. Yeah. Uh, Geneva Carr. I don't I, have a lot to say about her. Yeah. I find her delightful. Uh, yeah. There's something I I don't I don't know because I I mentioned to you when I was sort of telling you about it is I was like they're all really good and I was like. There's not, I mean, we're three episodes in, so I'm starting to pick up on a few things, but I was like watching the first, the, the initial episodes, there wasn't a very obvious, you know, oh, there's the, the filler queen, yeah. like there's the first out, mm -hmm. yada, yada. Um, but there's something about her energy and her talent, because I think she's the one where Michelle was like, it was so stupid yeah. and we love it. Because what did she say something about? Like, she cleared customs. Well, it was like, and then it was like really like. The flamenco. Lazy, not lazy, <laughs> but like badly done flamenco <laughs> skirt twirling. It was. Well, she got me with the, with the pantomiming, deep throating the pepper. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, and there's just something about her face in the hair and makeup that yeah. I just, it, it delights me. Sure. And so, yeah, I, I do like. Geneva Carr. Uh, I did watch Pit Stop. Trixie's back hosting, so mm -hmm. you'll enjoy that. Yeah. Trixie thinks it's meant to be a pun, but we don't know what it is. Geneva Carr. Because do you need a car? I don't know. I mean, maybe, but... It feels... That, I, she's reaching, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. 
uh, Hershey liqueur jeté. Well, spoiler show. We'll go ahead and say it. She did leave yeah. this episode. You know, I'm sad. I'm uh, a little sad. Uh, Mostly she, more from a personality standpoint than from like an actual drag standpoint. But. There was uh, there was a, a wisdom, sort sure. of a hard earned wisdom, and I guess being a parent maybe can do that to you. Yeah, I found her backstory delightful. I thought he was really cute, so cute. Yeah, and I don't know. I just there's a part of me that when some of them go, I'm like, yeah, I get it, and I agree. But can they still just like hang out in yeah. the workroom? Yeah, can we just like can they just like Help each other with their color blending. Like. <laughs> you ready to talk Next. about Megami? <laughs> it's not it for me. Okay. Okay. I loved all three of the first looks. Okay. That was apparently a hot take from the the, the feedback I was seeing. Okay. Her entrance look, people weren't feeling that. Um, I didn't hate that one. Her angel look i i mean with the it, eyes yeah well first of all that was not a reveal that was not so a re- it doesn't fit the brief no. immediately so it's do- it doesn't matter that's a good look it doesn't fit the brief but everybody like multiple videos clips tweets stuff that i saw were like she's just wearing a black smock and i was like i don't know i kind of lived i mean it's there's very a little, me <laughs> there was a little more to it than just a black smock but again it's like it doesn't there's sometimes where i'm like that doesn't meet the brief but it's so good that it doesn't matter and it's like it's not that it was bad but it didn't meet the brief and it wasn't so good that it didn't matter and then i can't even speak about the other <laughs> We don't have to. If you want to know what we think about it, you can you can pay three dollars and watch us talk about it on the Patreon. <laughs> I do, all I want to say is that I don't disagree, but that was not a convincing talent. What was that? Also, I am Team Trixie. You didn't think about steaming that flag? Are you kidding? What I will say is, I think. Based on what little I know about Megami through the lens of reality TV, I feel like she can be her own worst enemy sometimes. A hundred percent. And I feel like she can get caught up, yeah. tripped up on her own. And if it I were just... offering advice, I would be like, you you actually very clearly are talented. Yeah. And find a way to make that yeah. work for you. <laughs> but it's like there was a lot of like a lot of like good talent and then a lot of like irreverent comedy and then it was just like deathly serious crying face hard political message and I'm just like completely unearned yeah totally we don't know you yet we don't know like do you have a backstory I I, I mean they all have a backstory mm -hmm. that supports this but it's like do you have something like extra that it's like why are you the one that chose to do this i don't know it was and the earnestness i cannot with you, the earnestness you, yeah. i want to turn inside <laughs> out i'm like you are you're, you're trying too hard it's just and i feel like i feel like there was a moment where she was like i know what i have to do and it's but it's this. almost to me that 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 sort of stuff i'm like that's cheating that's I, just 100% like do, and that's why it didn't land because you're like trying to take a shortcut you're trying to play there's nobody in this room watching this who needs the screen that, that message you're trying to play michael giacchino music to make me cry and i can hear the piano <laughs> you're like this garage band yeah like, <laughs> you forgot to turn off that metronome exactly alaska my my I'm on the page um I really loved her talent, the flipping stuff. That was very cool. She yeah. came out and look, I I believe me, I know what goes into writing and producing a, a track. Mm-hmm. I get it. But again, season 16, a standard has been set. Yeah. Uh, and so when she was doing it, I was sort of like, okay, okay. And then she started doing all the flips and stuff. And it was just... There was something. It was like the onto and then off of the block that did it. But there, there was something just, just so, like, earn, earnest in a good way, or, yeah. or there was just something where I was. It, it was like a Pokemon or something. Sure, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, all fucking right. go, get it. 
talked, talked about, about Mirage, Mirage a already. the moment that truly cemented both her and also helped to cement a mandatory meeting was when Rue said Amanda's full name. Yeah. And, and she Mirage. Like, oh. And it was just the way where she was just sort of like, because you, you can almost believe that maybe she had heard it. Yeah. Like she had heard all three words. Sure. But not realized Together, yeah. until Rue said it. I don't know. It, it, it did funny. wonders. Morphine Love Dion has a BBL. I don't care. I about the I don't care about your ass. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I don't have like I, I don't have a lot. Like I don't I guess I don't have a like a full grasp. No, I'm I'm like not angry about it, but I also I don't know enough mm-hmm. yet. There's like like I said, I've got ones that stick out and then the rest are right now still kind of white mm-hmm. noise. And unfortunately, one of the ones, they're the one that went home, well, stuck out. So, well, like, she she got the, the some of the screen spot, time yeah. and the it was it was also just kind of a bummer the 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 bottom three and I mean it always they always sucks. really felt like they were very deflated and yeah. resigned and because that's another re- like I I kind of feel like Maya Mon Page isn't long for the competition no. because I kind of feel like she, like she's she gave up there yeah. And that's just like I would love for that to not to be the case, yeah. but that's just how I feel about it at the moment. Agree. I live and die <laughs> for Nymphia Wind. Okay, I came way around <laughs> because the opening banana. So the banana schlong was a was a really strong first taste. The banana dick joke. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. But all of the talking heads were very charming and very funny. I love that yellow is like the go-to color. Um, and I do also the like the then second banana look. She's 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 very clever. Very clever. Yeah. And but the banana look at the end was like spectacular. The four, the reveal. The different all the different <laughs> and then the like rotted bananas on the bottom. I, amazing. Just I mean fully formed yeah. in a clamshell mm-hmm. like born and well, this okay this also I don't remember was it I don't remember which queen it was but we got so annoyed with them by the end but this, the like Guy Fieri queen this is a like use it like everything is one color but in a way that like makes me happy well yeah well, who she's was just... that queen Maddie Morphosis what are you no, doing no 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 it was like there was always red orange and yellow oh Tina Burner Tina Burner <laughs> <laughs> I did not care for that at all. This, this is, is not that very charming. The, 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 the Nymphia, how she's capable of being so many things yeah. at the same time. How she's funny uh-huh. and sexy and sweet and cunty and yeah. like. <laughs> so I'll say this: I do think in that case, then the the banana dick joke it actually subverts the whole thing because you think. She's going to be one thing. You think she's going to be like an over the top, like the obvious joke, the you know low hanging fruit. And then it's literally not like she's so much more than that. So I love that it's kind of like making you subvert. And so then when she surpasses your expectations, you're like, wow. And the talking heads are so personable. Yeah. And so like I keep saying charming. So yeah. Charming. But, but it, she she has that quality that's very, very rare where it's like wisdom and innocence. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's a good very combo. childlike impress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a way that I I'm I'm very impressed. Um I'll save plain Jane for last. She end. would like it that way. We can skip to Q then. Because we talked uh, okay. about plasma a little. I I love Q. Yeah. I she's she's so good that she, she's so good to a point where I think it almost could be a a detriment. I can see that. Okay. Yeah. The more time I spent with her, though, the more I did like her. And she her had talking that. heads are good, too. Well, she had that quality that I have no other way to explain it other than to compare her to Anne Hathaway, but not the way that most people do. Okay. It was in the sense where for so long, because a lot of people didn't like Anne Hathaway because she was too eager mm-hmm. or she's like. There's the, a, the earnestness goes mm-hmm. to that as well. But for me. For so long, Anne didn't have an edge. Mm. It was it. She was obviously beautiful, but there was nothing that I could grab onto. Sure, and she was obviously talented, but there was nothing that I was like. But, but too much sweetness. Like, what? Too but much, what makes you you? Too much Disney princess. And so, yeah. 
that's where I have a lot of hope and faith for Q is that the more time I am spending with her, I because, you know, she's beautiful. He's cute, yeah. handsome. But as episode episode three rolled around, we literally exclaim where we're like, my God, his eyes are gorgeous. So and pretty. I genuinely yeah. didn't notice until that point. And so I, I would like to believe that that is the case that that it it, 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 there's like layers we're peeling back the layers yeah and it's like that as things come into focus i'll realize that they are exquisite and not just you know and not a monet sure where it's like it's almost too beautiful where it's like well to a way that i was like but give me something yeah yeah yeah. and and uh, you know that 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 look the black the snow white and the huntsman with the like moth butterfly under pattern i mean that I, I like you. I like you a lot. And she also does have a um, den mother quality. I don't sure. remember how old she is, but she she has the sense that that she 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 could have a gentle ruler. Sure. Sense in a way that I'm like, OK, I do agree with you. I like Sephira Crystal a yeah. lot. And I don't mean this as shade. I I want her, I want her to hone her actual drag a little bit. Sure. Um, I think her I think her looks are beautiful. The looks and the concepts are beautiful. But it's like the opera singing is only going to take you so far. But boy. Will it? It will take you far. It'll take you far. (laughs) But there is an end point on the return. And the reason why she she bought herself so much good faith, at least in my eyes, because it would be enough. It's enough to just be talented. It's extra to be classically talented yeah but to understand that that is not enough and and that she needs to add an angle to it and to land it so well the weird mistranslation yeah and i think the reason why it worked so well was because if it was just vulgar Mm -hmm. that would be fine and funny and juxtaposition but it was the fact that we actually had to think for a second uh-huh. and be like, wait, are th- these are not. No, they can't be the real. And no that's... way she translated that into Italian or whatever. <laughs> that, that for me was the sweet spot. Also Q, because I, I I keep forgetting that this is Q. The pup, oh the bout, you know what I mean? And that's sort of what I mean yeah. where I'm like, whatever instinct led you to do that for your talent. Yeah. I need, more of that and I need yeah. to see that when I look at because you. it's also like looking at plasma I would expect her to do that and looking at Q I would expect just another lip sync you know to like or a, I would expect like her to come song. out and just actually sing, sing like yeah. slay it but uh, you're right that uh, Q doing that I mean that was and so I'm like oh I know it's in you but yeah. I but I need I need to see that when I look at you yeah, for and sure. I'm not there yet um but yeah Safira also uh, Dead Mother vibes. There's a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kind of excited. She's she's one that I'm like I I don't have a strong opinion on her at the moment. I mean I I feel positively about her. Yeah. But I'm like excited at the prospect of seeing what more she can do. Sure. I kind of live for a tsunami muse i do for like em- parts of it emphasis on the kind of yeah because some of the looks are a little off the rackish. well i said even in her talent i was like big yes girl give us nothing vibes yeah. because i mean mm-hmm. but also yes girl like yeah, yeah. <laughs> i i th- i think that muse on her <laughs> at the end of her name, <laughs> could, yeah, could be a could be working in both ways for her. Yeah, I agree because <laughs> it does set a precedent. But it's like it it when when she announces herself that way, you sort of expect a certain thing from her. But then she's giving you a little bit more luxe noir London. Yeah, and also there's like a Taya coffee quality, and even like her entrance look. I mean. I I really loved the concept of it and I loved the like middle part of it the and I and I liked the idea of the pants mm-hmm. but I don't know that the execution were, was 100% there they were ill-fitting I wouldn't go that far but I would say they I don't think they were tailored They were not properly tailored <laughs> that's what ill-fitting means <laughs> I think that that means that it looks like sloppy I don't think it looked sloppy I just think it could have looked more They fit her poorly <laughs> <laughs> I think it fit her mediumly. 
<laughs> um, but she's also one of the ones because as this, it, it, it's a better factor here, but I confuse pretty with many things. Mm. So if I think somebody's hot or cute or whatever, that, that goes a long way for me. And she clearly falls into that category for me because sure. there's not a time that they don't cut to the talking head. And I think, Ooh, sure. Who's the cutie? Yeah. That, that, <laughs> yes. For, I'll agree with you there. And not once, not twice, but thrice in this third episode, did I gasp at something she was wearing? Sure. <gasps> Sorry. That no, was such that's a... <laughs> literally stunning. That was Halle Bailey. Yeah, just it, walked was, into... it really was. <laughs> the And because we barely got a shot of it. Yeah. But the Halle the mer- Bailey the mermaid, mermaid yeah. disco mermaid outfit. Yeah. It was good. I mean, granted, I'm I'm like programmed to respond to that color combination yeah, at yeah. this point in my life. <laughs> if you if you can guess how many different versions of Halle Bailey are in this room right now, <laughs> and you not get where you think, rights, yeah. Um, uh, there was something else I was going to say about her, and I don't fully remember. Let's go to plane. To- this is going to be so long. You are going to be up till five. It's not going to be so long. I think we've already been talking for half an hour. Okay, it's gonna be because awesome. <laughs> we had we had half of the conversation in the in the episode. Yeah. So I'm sort of out of where do we start with Plain Jane? Go watch our coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Pay three dollars. You can cancel immediately. Okay, I anticipate loving Plain Jane by the end. I think it's I think that's to, certainly a possibility. I think what you said, where it's like we haven't had a proper villain villain in like a hot minute. No think, one has been brave enough to actually yeah. be the villain. I think that's what's going to be fun. I don't think I'm going to like her, but I think she's going to be so entertaining. I think I could if we get like a Violet Chachki trajectory. Sure. My biggest but Violet issue. Violet Chachki was also learning lessons, and I that does not feel like what Plain Jane is looking for. Again, I don't, I don't realize how old. For some reason, Plasma is the only one that I her her age twenty four stuck with me. The rest of them, oh, I'm like, okay, I have I no know. concept, no idea. So she's Plain Jane has made a big splash, and there's oversimplified two oversimplified camps, and. The, the the big thing was like, oh, she's mean, she's a bitch, she's the villain. And then there's the gotcha second camp where they're trying to, the with all the whataboutisms and all of the this well, and the that. And that's not my, my issue. Go ahead. She's like playing the game. Well, okay. So my issue with playing Jane isn't so much that I think she's a bitch, which I do, but it's that I think she's playing. Yeah. I think that there's, there's a quality where i'm like okay you're you're playing tv in a in in a competition where literally every other girl is sort of like oh what if we just made this merit based kind of yeah and i don't have a problem with strategy i don't i mean that's not how i would do it i know that there's an ongoing debate as to i mean if you send home the best queen you won i'm like whatever yeah but that's not how i compete I think the world should be a meritocracy. So when I do competitions, <laughs> I vote for who I think is the best. But there's just there was a moment, and it, I mean it was like Fleabag, where Plain Jane stared directly down the camera, right in the camera, in a way that I was like, I don't think that happens a lot. No, uh, <laughs> they're like ignore the camera. You can't gym the camera like that. That's like, and so. Any negativity or hesitation I'm feeling towards her is primarily based in that. Yeah. And I'm like, why don't you work on you? Mm -hmm. Because because you even asked about her talent because she was talking a big game. And, you know, you were like, is it good or does she face plant? And I was like, I mean, your mileage might vary. I was like, but she doesn't face plant. She did not face plant. I did not like it. I kind of did. Um. Uh, the, 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 where she got me is I I literally cannot believe no one's done that yet. The burger burger finger? fingers because I know exactly like I have never not like there are I've never not had five guys. I don't know and not spend the next three hours kind of like 
I'm like a raccoon. <laughs> if food touches my hands, they are washed immediately. <laughs> well, under normal circumstances, <laughs> but sometimes I want that Italian herb and cheese foot long subway bread to linger a little bit. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm like, no. <laughs> and, and even the like. <laughs> Well, cause, yeah, the, like the tits, I'm, I am, you're totally right. You're like, it's a one or the other because it's either the huge cock destroyer tits or it's just boy chest. <laughs> with, with pasties. And there's like no in between so far. And like, that's whatever. But I am not a huge fan either of the big cock destroyer tits. So it depends. It does depend. Because I, I like, you didn't also... watch All Stars 8 because no. Jimbo okay, is yeah. very good at it. And for me, I think that that might be more, Jimbo might be an exception that proves the rule for okay, you. Yeah. And I think it's set a precedent that a lot of people are far too willing to tackle. And okay. So, because the thing for me is as a as a woman. <laughs> as a cis woman. It hurts my breasts. <laughs> and mine are nowhere near that big. And I'm just like, but that would feel bad. Like, mm-hmm. But, because so, cause that's, so, that's my thing is I'm like, you are obviously gorgeous yeah. in, in drag. You are obviously cute, like conventionally attractive out of it. You don't think so? No, he is, but what did I call him? Kmart Rosé? Took me out. (laughs) It did. It really took him out. Took me out. Because it's like the eyebrows, the cheekbones, all of it. I'm just, I was like, it's like if Rosé came from Kmart. (laughs) (laughs) Because Rosé was also nice, too. (laughs) But but that's part of a of a bigger divide is because yeah. there there was like any culture or genre or subgenre there's layers upon layers upon yeah. layers and there's a lot of people who didn't like or I I remember there was a tweet and it was about like Denali and Rose mm. and it was like you cannot convince me for one second that these two people have any passion for drag oh what they did is weaponize their MBA as or MFA MFA in like a last ditch effort at stardom. And I disagree. I do too. Yeah. But it was, it was a little bit one of those where I was like, I mean, that is an opinion. That it, it r- is. truly is an opinion. Everybody has one. Um, And I, I mean, I would, I would give that some merit. I, I don't know that I don't, I don't agree, but yeah. I, that is an assessment. And I so I like, think I plain Jane might be doing, or, or I think she thinks she's doing drag, like old sure. school, traditional drag. But it's like you're just being a bitch. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, like you're just and you're inta- you're choosing to do it. It's not coming naturally to especially you. Especially in this crop of girls who the rest of them are like being very like the normal amount of caddy. Like you're going out of your way to like walk up to everybody and try to throw them off their game. And that's a whole different vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where it's like someone like to to name drop Violet Chachki again. Yeah. I feel like sh- that she just is that way. Yeah. And had to learn how to, like, hone it. Yeah. In a way that it's like, you're choosing to do this, and it might get you very far. I don't know. I'm I'm going to find out with the rest of us. And like I said, I, I predict, it, it depends. It depends on if she actually uh, strikes any real relationships with these girls. Sure. And, like, what's going on. So it's like, I, I could very clearly see her being my, like, queen of queens when this comes down to we'll it. See. Yeah. Um, but I am more of a honey than vinegar person, mm-hmm. unless again the vinegar is hard earned. Is is like, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, this bitch just like went to the store and bought some. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're not afraid. But... I'm not afraid. I'm so f- past being afraid of the comments on these episodes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do the. The ball? Not really. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, mean Joey. Like... <laughs> um, there's just so many looks. There's and like, so it's, many it's, looks. I think moving forward, we will do our more traditional, like, watch the runway and, like, assess uh, things. 14 queens is too many to do a ball. <laughs> it's not even the most, though. No, because like, they did do it with 15 or 16. Or six, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was sort of the... The, as someone who considers themselves well versed in folklore, mm-hmm. I didn't know all of the nursery rhymes. I think we might have stretched the meaning of a nursery <laughs> rhyme a little. And the the mother looks were, but I mixed. Yeah, but it, it's largely we've kind of are like 
Q's mother look was good because Q is good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and that Liza Minnelli, that, that just, if, if you Judy want, Garland. or sorry. Yeah. If you want Q in a, in a nutshell, it's the fact that she just, she knew that dress. That specific Judy Garland. There's yeah. dozens of Judy's, yeah. but she was like, this is the one. Well, because it's like the other really famous one that you see all the time is like the red sequins. Mm-hmm. And it's like, everybody's does the red sequins, but like that weird pattern dress, like, yeah. That. When also in a post, you know, all Star Seven World, where Jinx really pissed all over. Oh my God. <laughs> the Judy Garland impression, and yeah, it's bold to come out and yeah. and do a take on it on it's, it and and like, have it. Yeah, it's land. like the people who are like um, who talk about. Harold- I'm impissed in like an ownership way. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not-, <laughs> not in a bad way. No, but it's like the people who talk about Harold Perrineau's Mercutio and are mm-hmm. like, "What does it feel like to know that you've done the absolute definitive <laughs> the version, version of something <laughs> of a character and a performance, and that everyone that does it after you is chasing what you did? Like, mm-hmm. what does that feel like? And that is the Jinx Monsoon mm-hmm. Judy Garland impression for sure. And so, yeah, d- d- is this my camera? D- d- <laughs> <laughs> Rupal. Well, the Rupal, I forgot about Or that. no, wait, is that, that's uh, Benda La Creme. No, I think it was the Judy no, Garland. No, no, because she said broom instead uh, of Ru- <laughs> instead of Rouge. Whatever, it was all funny. Rupal was Maggie Smith. It was Benda La Creme. As the- <laughs> we invented the language. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, broom, that's what it was. Uh, but no, it's, it's, so to, to tackle something and be able to hold a candle yeah. is is impressive. So. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's me, but I'm I'm feeling really good yeah. about this and I'm I'm looking forward to it. Me too. So, okay, hopefully you had a good time and hopefully we will see you back um next week and or it some of our other stuff. We cover Yay. Teen Wolf and Desperate Housewives. Teen Wolf's coming. I don't know if you're one of those, but it'll be here. It's coming so soon. So so soon. Stop asking. So soon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I wanted to get it out in January, but I I think I need to get a couple more under my belt. Yeah, because uh, I'm yeah, every yeah, time yeah. I get my head above water, it yeah, like yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, like and subscribe. That part that I mean, yeah. we that's the part that helps us. Subscribe. <laughs> so, bye. I don't know. I kind of okay. Okay. Yeah. She's she's my MVP of the of the week. Apparently.